Hey everybody, it's John again from Gasper's Automotive Restoration. I just wanted to do a little walk around here of this Scarsdale 500 Series American La France. Uh, this is a 1946. It was brought here for a bunch of work. We had to do some cosmetic work to it, shine this thing up really well. We had to do a bunch of mechanical things. The uh, gas gauge had some problems. The engine needed service. The radiator was no good. The carburetors were messed up and needed to be redone. We checked the, the brake system, we repulsored the seat, we replaced the glass, all kinds of stuff in this thing. A lot of work, it's been here for many weeks, and so we're just gonna do a quick walk around. Uh, again, this is a 1946 500 Series American La France. They didn't make these for a really long time, maybe six, seven years or so, and it was relatively short-lived. You don't see a lot of them, and you can really tell by this giant grill here. Uh, it stands out, it's actually cast aluminum, and if you come in and look closely here, you just see the, the detail on this. It's really cool. It's rough. It's like this from day one. It has these little imperfections in it. They buffed it. We took these off, rebuffed them, just to kind of bring back some of the brightness. It's not done to Concor restoration level. The customer didn't want that. It's just to make it look really nice, and it was easy to do. It came out really great. And, of course, you got the American La France emblem here on the front. And this really cool hood ornament up here. This is a period of time in the 40s, late 40s, early 50s, where you see big hood ornaments on trucks. You, uh, you usually don't see them on, uh, on trucks uh, too much earlier or afterwards. It's just these kind of over the top, big, um, crazy kind of art deco hood ornaments. They're really cool, I like them. You see them on a bunch of different trucks, uh, especially on fire engines. So this is really cool, this is cast aluminum. A lot of aluminum on these trucks, a lot of cast aluminum. The cab is actually aluminum, the front part of the cab is aluminum. Uh, this is all cast aluminum, so America and the France use a lot of that in their construction. Let's pop the hood here and see what's on the hood. Very simple hood holding here. It just, this factory, it just comes up and you just let the hood sit on it. That's it. But we have a V12. This is the Junior V12. America La France made two different V12s. They had a large one and a small one. This truck is a 750 gallon a minute pump, so this came with the smaller engine. This is actually an Auburn V12 in disguise. So anybody out there that knows Auburn Cord uh, Duesenberg. This was uh, their Auburn's V12, and America La France used this engine in a lot of fire trucks all the way into the late 60s, mid to late 60s. So, used a long time, and it's dual carburetors, dual one barrel carburetors. We had these all redone. We did up the air cleaners, had a water pump done over here, swapped that out. That was leaking like a sieve. That's all fixed right. And we had a brand new record radiator put in here. Sent that out, had it redone, came out really nice. BGR radiators in Plainfield, Connecticut, got that done for us, did a fantastic job. They added those little D handles here, these little D rings. I had them add these on so that the radiator could be taken out of the truck. It was uh, basically a circus trying to get that out of there. We had a strap right around the neck up here and the radiator was bending all over the place and uh, didn't really, didn't really work out that great, so it was much easier putting it back in with those. So, got the V12 four-speed transmission. The siren's kind of cool. On fire trucks, you can pretty much put stuff wherever you want it. It's all custom made. A lot of these, this was kind of the standard spot for the, for the uh, siren light there. Really cool uh, siren light. These, they made a ton of these things. They're a standard. You see them a lot of different fire trucks. They're really cool. They, they obviously are a siren and they also flash. The red light flashes in the front. And we worked on the glass. We took the windshield frame out here, had a local company redo the glass in that. And we replaced everything here. Show you inside the cab. We we replaced the roll-up windows here, and in order to get the roll-up windows off, you actually have to take all these screws out, all the way down, and all the way around, and all the way around the top. 
and the door skin actually comes off the door. The door stays on the hinges and this whole entire skin comes off the truck. I've never seen that before. It's a really cool design. We had full access to the window, the regulator, everything, and we fixed everything and put it all back together. So it came out really nice. We had a local gentleman redo the seat with real leather. It came out really nice. I reinstalled the correct ignition switch on the dash up there. And the knife switch to, to the left there is the original style switch. And they had had something else in its place. I didn't like the way it looked, so I wanted to put the original one back in there. I had one laying around. We redid it, put it in there. Really a, um, quite, a, quite an interesting truck to, to sit in and just the view of sitting in the truck is just crazy. It's like driving a battleship. It really is like driving a battleship or in some sort of spacecraft. It's, it's just crazy when you're driving this thing. It feels like you're on the Titanic, on the bridge, and here's the bow, and you're about that far away. So, quite a crazy design by American La France, but a good one. And just trying to go through and, and neaten things up and, you know, fix problems and just clean it up as best we can, get as many things as we can get done, done for the customer while we can, while it's here. So this is the 500 Series American La France. And I hope you enjoyed this little walk around. It's going to be going out of here in the next week or so. And I hope uh, the guys in Scarsdale, I'm sure they're excited. So if you like this, subscribe and uh, keep that old line running.